Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very fine. So uh, as you already know, there are ample career opportunities in the pharmaceutical industry. So one of the good career opportunity is the medical writing. So medical writing can do by any medical science students or life science students or even pharma students also. But uh, do you know what kind of the skills required to do a career actually in the medical writing? What kind of the skills, what kind of the knowledge? Well, this is very important. Once you have that knowledge, you can do a better career in the medical writing. So today we are talking about the various skills and knowledge required for a good medical writer. So let's start. So there are nine various skills and knowledge I'm going to tell in this video. So first is general skill. General skills means what? First, medical writing is a department where you have to write any kind of documentation means you have to properly write according to the scientific according to the regulatory guidelines so as per the need because there are various medical writers such as they are working in the regulatory okay regulatory medical writing then it is writing in the pharmacovigilance then safety writing when it is working in the scientific that is in the research then scientific writing publication writing literature writing according to the audience your writing will change if you are writing as a journal or manuscript then you your writing should be very simple so that even um, common people can also able to read this proper well actually understood but when it comes to the scientific it should be in the proper manner when it is going to the safety it should be different when it is for the regulatory then it is about the guidelines so you have to properly follow these things so according to the target audience your medical writing should vary so this is first skill general skill is very important then next skill is technical skill. What is technical skill? Because medical writer is working on various therapeutic areas such as oncology, respiratory system, various onco uh, means various areas they are working. So when they are working in various areas, they need to know the key terminologies and the whole information about that therapeutic area. Then and only then they can get the knowledge about those particular writing and write it properly according to the demand. The next skill is knowledge of ICH and international guidelines. So this is especially when it comes to the regulatory writing because there are regulations and according to that you have to write as I earlier said. So uh, first of all there are various guidelines like ICH E2 guidelines It's especially for the periodic safety update reports. Okay, ICH E3 guidelines it is for the clinical study report then ICH E6 is the protocol template. So according to the target according to your project the guidelines you have to know and you have to actually understood that guideline and write it accordingly then basic statistics because there is a data generated from the clinical research domain and that comes to the clinical writer so he has to uh, means uh, properly align that data okay so uh, there are some tools he has to use so t test or p test means probability test confidence interval regression analysis and randomization scheme that information needs to understand by any medical writer. Next skill, very important, language and grammar. Because you get the data uh, and uh, this is not in the proper format. So uh, you have to write it in proper way. So the active tense is very much important and uh, the tense should not be changed and the meaning should not be changed. It should be proper and in the actual, in very simple manner. Next skill is literature search. So whenever there is a data get, get by any medical writer, this should be from the sponsor and that is complex data. So you have to research, okay, like in Medline, in PubMed. So these are the dictionaries. You have to get that information from those sources. So because of that, you have to get information and while getting the information, you should have the ability of a research skill. Okay, what kind of the information exactly needed so that uh, you should convert that complex data into simple readable format. Then next skill is interpretation of research data. What is interpretation of research data? It means the data is already generated by a research team, but you have to present it in proper manner like tables or graphs so that everyone could properly understood. Okay, then next skill is ethical issues. 
uh, see many of the times what happens there is some information that is uh, actually copyright or uh, someone has their rights own because someone has their research so you can't do it that this is your research you can't show actually this is plagiarism you have to avoid that plagiarism and actually what the data shows that has to actually generate it in the actual way okay this is not the story that you have to that should be happy ending this is not that actually what what is the data what research say exactly that information you have to write and publish okay there is no any manipulation needed here then last skill is formatting and editing so when you write any medical writing information for any particular information you get right so pro proper font size proper paragraph proper header footer everything even tense as i say active tense should be there so everything you have to check and properly write it okay so this is these are the skills actually needed by any medical writer when it actually enters into the industry so if you want to do the career in the medical writing and you are still confused about how to get that uh, uh, means information and the skills so don't worry about that we already launched a 3 month online certification course in the medical writing where we provide you hands on expertise hands on training about medical writing various uh, other topics are also covered like a drug development process like any other things related to the medical writing so uh, this course is very ideal for anyone who want to do the career in the medical writing so in the description i provide all the information about that particular course so if you want to do the career in the medical writing and want to learn about in depth about medical writing this course will ideally made for you guys so i hope this video will definitely help you uh, to gain knowledge and uh, accordingly you prepare for the medical writing domain i wish you all the best for all of you if you think that this video content is really good then like this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and definitely this video please share to all your colleagues or all your friends so that they will also get the information about the medical writing so in this video that's it we'll meet in the next video so till then be healthy be happy